Now let us look at the HCF. HCF is the highest common factor. So now let me take the same number that we were taking. Let me take 24 and 36. So what does this mean? That there will be a number which will be a factor, a common factor of both these numbers and it will be the highest such number. So now in this case, okay, just by looking at it, you may know that the HCF of these numbers will be equal to 12 because 12 is a factor of 24. 24 is equal to 12 into 2. It is also a factor of 36. 36 is 12 into 3. But how do we find it out? Again, we have these four methods. First is the prime factor. So I'm trying to find out HCF of 36 and 24. Again, I list down the factors of prime factors of 36, which is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. That is 36. Similarly, I list down the factors of 24, which is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. This is what I have. Now, in this case, when I'm trying to find out the HCF, again, I will make groups. So I have a group of 2s here and I have a group of 3s here. But in case of LCM, I was taking the bigger group. So if I were to find out the LCM of these, I will take the bigger group of 2s here. That is 2 into 2 into 2 and the bigger group of 3s. So let me just divide this also for you. LCM would have been 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 here which is equal to 72 but in case of LCM let me just remove this for the moment in case of LCM what you do is it's very simple you just take the smaller group so in this case the smaller group of 2's is 2 into 2 but it has to be common so obviously 2 is smaller than 3 so for HCF I will take the smaller group of 2's that is 2 into 2 and I will take the smaller group of 3's also I have two threes here and I have one three here. So I'll take the smaller group which is this and this will be my answer. This is equal to 12. This is how I find out the HCF. Now it's very simple. I have 36 and 24 here. Like I told you for the LCM, you take the, take any prime number which divides these two, both numbers. In this case, I will have two. This will be 36 divided by two is 18. 24 divided by two is 12. Again, I have 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 2 doesn't divide these two numbers, so I divide them by 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, I cannot find any other number which divides both of these. Now, in case of HCF, in, I just leave out these two numbers and I just multiply the numbers here on, the, on this edge. So, HCF is 2 into 2 into 3, again answer is 12. Now, in case of HCF, I also have a very nice method for finding this out, which is called the division method. So, how does the division method work? So, in division method, what you do is, you put down the bigger number here and you put down the smaller number here. Now, you divide the bigger number by the smaller number. Here, obviously, I'll have 1. I subtract these two, I get 12. Now the second step is that again you draw this and you bring this number over to here. This number goes back here. So in this case, I have 24 here and I divide now this smaller number by the remainder that I have left. In this case, this is going to be 2. This is, sorry, this is 24. Subtract it, I get 0. So you actually continue doing this method till you get a 0 here. Had this not been a 0, had this been something else, I would have again taken this and I would have brought 12 down here and I would have divided again. Now in this case, as soon as I get a 0, I stop and my HCF is simply the last divisor. In this case, 12. So it is very simple to find the HCF using this division method. Now again, I can find out the HCF using LCM. As I told you, LCM of A and B was A into B divided by HCF of A into B. Obviously, as a corollary, I can also find the HCF, which is simply A into B divided by the LCM. So, this is the way I find HCF out if I am given the 
if the two numbers are there and if I know the LCM or if any of these variables is missing I can plug it into this equation and find. Now what happens if I have three numbers? If I have three numbers this is going to work as normal. I can just find out the factors groups and take the smaller groups. Now in this method which is the, the factorization method you have to remember in case of HCF you have to take numbers which are which divide all the three numbers that is what we have to see so in case let me say let me again take an example the numbers that you saw earlier also so let me say I am trying to find out the HCF of 5 15 and 12 so 5 15 and 12 and I am using this method now I can see that I don't have any number which can divide all these three numbers so that is so the, which means the HCF of these numbers is 1 in this case I can't say that okay there I have 5 which divides these two so I put in a 5 here no you have to find numbers which are which are factors of all these three so if you can't find such a number that is the end of the method and you have 1 similarly in case let us say let me just take another example if let us say I had 15 12 and let us say 6 so now obviously I know that I have 3 which is a factor for all these 15 divided by 3 is 5 12 divided by 3 is 4 6 divided by 3 is 2 now I come here again I can't find any number which is which can divide all these three numbers or which is a factor of all these three numbers which means I stop at this stage and the HCF is simply 3 so my HCF of 15 12 and 6 is equal to 3 so this is the only difference that comes in when you have finding the HCF of three numbers. Okay now here are certain relations again just to remind you LCM of A and B is A into B divided by HCF of A into B. So let's say I am trying to find out the LCM of 21 and 6. So using if I just plug into this I will have 21 into 6 divided by HCF. I know this is 7 into 3, this is 3 into 2, so I have just one common factor which is 3. So I can just solve this and find it out to be 42. So the LCM is simply 42, nothing to be done. And this also works if you can, if you know for instance that both the numbers don't have any common factor which means the HCF is 1, in that case the LCM will simply be the product of the two numbers. Now what about fractions? If I am trying to find out the LCM of a fraction, of two fractions, that is going to be LCM of the numerator divided by the HCF of the denominator. Similarly, HCF of fractions is HCF of the numerators divided by the LCM of denominators. Before I take an example of this, first just, just see if, if I am finding out the LCM, the numerator will have the LCM and the other thing will be the HCF in the denominator. So, Whenever you for you are finding out LCM or HCF of the fractions, the numerator will have the same function. So if you see you have if you are finding out the HCF of fractions for the numerators, you will also take the HCF in the numerators and denominator will be the other thing which is the LCM. Now let me take a very simple example of this. Let me say I want to find out the LCM and HCF of 1 by 3 and 2 by 3. So let me first find out the LCM. So LCM of 1 by 3 and 2 by 3. So if I just see here, if I am finding out the LCM, I first need to find out the LCM of the numerators. So that is numerator of this is 1 and numerator of this fraction is 2 divided by the HCF of the denominators. Here in this case, HCF of this is 3, HCF of this is also 3. Now LCM of 1 and 2 will obviously be 2 because the number lowest number which is divisible by both 1 and 2 is 2 similarly the HCF of 3 and 3 will be the number itself which is equal to 3 so the LCM of 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 is 2 by 3 you can simply see this because if I multiply 1 by 3 by 2 I get 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 into 1 is again 2 by 3 so this has to be the lowest common multiple now if I am trying to find out the HCF of the same thing that is going to be HCF of again 1 and 2 divided by the LCM of 3 and 3 the denominators 
so highest common factor that is a factor which divides both 1 and 2 is simply going to be 1 and the LCM of 3 and 3 so the least multiple which is a multiple of 3 is 3 itself so I have HCF of 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 equal to 1 by 3 which is again obvious because 1 by 3 divides 1 by 3 completely and it also divides 2 by 3 completely so this is how you do LCM and HCF of fractions